Hey guys, it's Half. I am back again with another uh, lip. Uh, hey guys, it's Half. I am back again with another collection type video. Um, this one I am going to do my lip balms, but then I might move on to concealers and primers as well. Because um, I don't have a huge amount of lip balms. There is one that isn't in amongst all the rest of them. Um, it's by my bed, which is the Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit, which is my second one of them because I love it that much. So, um, yeah. Um, the other ones that are currently in use are my Carmex uh, Jasmine Green Tea. This is actually in my lip service project. Um, and I've gone through this surprisingly quickly, like, I was really surprised at how quickly I'm using it. Um, another one that is in the, my project is this one. It's actually, um, a lip prep, like a primer type thing, but you can use it as a lip balm as well. It's very minty. Um, this is from the Runway Room, which I believe is an Australian... Yeah, it's uh, based in Victoria. Um, I got this at like a beauty trade show thing. Um, yeah. Um, and I'm also sometimes using this Natio tinted lip balm in Smile. Um, Natio is an Australian brand. This one has got colour. Um, and you can see how much I've actually used of this. So this is the other one I have from them, which is Fun. Um, and you can see how much more I have of Fun than I do of Smile, because I've used Smile more. Um, uh, they are fairly similar in colour. That one there is fun. It's probably a bit more pink, a bit lighter. But, um, currently um, it has been used to be, I actually am really considering um, clearing this tin out just so I can use the tin um, because this lip balm from Moore I have found is um, not moisturising at all, it actually dried my lips out, which is really weird. Um, also, I don't really like the smell of it. <laughs> it's very I mean, it smells like marshmallows. It's very sweet. It's called marshmallow. Um, yeah, so I'm actually thinking, because I love this tin. This tin is so gorgeous. So, I am I'm going to clean this one out and keep the tin, but it won't be in my collection anymore. I have another one from Moore, which hasn't actually been opened. Um, this one is in Blood Orange, and it's slightly different, so I'm hoping I won't have the same problem. I don't really like the ones that are in pots, unfortunately, but I got this for a really good deal um, on Oz sale, so that's why I bought it. I'm also going to get rid of this one. This is from Mica Beauty. This is a uh, supposedly a tinted lip balm in Velvet Rose. And I'm... It's... I think it's starting to dry out. But that's not a lip balm. That's like a full-on lipstick. Like, when I, I'm looking for a lip balm, I'm not looking for something like that. I mean, it still smells alright, but it's sort of moving away from the sides of the container. You see that? So, yeah, that makes me feel weird. It looks, it definitely looks like it's drying out. It's like moving. It's like suctioning away from the sides. So that one's going to go as well. lip balm in tangerine 
uh, a baby lips um, balm and blush. You can use these as lip balms or as blushes, but I would be using this more as a lip balm. Um, it's in shimmering bronze. Oops. Uh, then I have, the, none of these ones are actually open, I haven't actually opened any of these. It's a Neutrogena Lip Balm in Sunberry. Which is clearly tinted. I don't know where I got that one from. It probably came in um, Bella Box, something like that. I have this Pineapple Lip Saver UV Protection. Pretty sure I got that from Shop Miss A. I have a minty choco chip from I Love Minty Choco Chip. Um, it's got a little love heart. I haven't actually opened the packaging, but it's got a little love heart in the center. See that? Um, I got this, like I have a bath wash that's the same scent. And another Carmex, but this one is the Strawberry. I'm pretty sure this came in a Bella box as well. So those are all the lip balms that are currently in my collection. So I have got rid of um, a couple of them. Um, which is, you know, it's always good to get rid of some stuff. Um, next I am going to have a look at these. I have these four from uh, LA Colors, the cover-up pro concealer. These are the coloured ones, so I have green, which is for redness. I have yellow, which is good for like purple kind of colours. I have lavender, which is good for sallowness. And no, that is not a problem on the thing, that is literally I don't think it is. Yeah, no, she's still good. I think I got like makeup on it. Um, you don't use them very often. These are actually quite firm ones too. You finally have to work them up. And this one is a orange one, which is good for like blueness. Um, I do very occasionally use them. It's quite rare that I actually use them. Um, and then I have this one which is from Crown, came as part of my beauty, um, like my makeup kit. So you can see that certain colours got used a lot, like the brown got used a lot because we often use that for contouring. Um, and a lot of people that I worked with had a lot of redness, so I use those quite a bit. These are designed to last um, ages. Uh, it's probably been opened longer than it should be, and I'm actually going to let it go because there is very, it's not like I'm doing makeup on other people, so there's very little chance that I'm actually ever going to use that up at all. Um, what else, what else, what else? Um, on the same kind of line, I have this one. This one's actually a Krylon one. Much better, like, quality apart from anything else. Um, not quite as obvious colour differences, but they're all the same kind of, um, idea. I did originally have this in a project to, like, use it up, but I don't colour correct enough. Um, for that to be necessary, but I am going to keep this one for now um, Because I quite like this one um, Then I have this one from Essence It's called match to cover. It has like two different colors in it You can see I've used quite a bit of this one. This one. I'm actually gonna let go This has been open for ages and I don't the colors aren't particularly good I'm actually in the process of trying to find the right colored uh, concealer because or one that I like because I'm having heaps of problems with them um, I have this concealer this has this is from W7 which is a brand you can get at uh, Chemist Warehouse in Australia um, this smells like tea tree I tend to only use this if I've got a pimple and I'll put it like on the pimple for a while and then like cover it up because it's like too dark 
it's like quite obvious otherwise so I have to put like another concealer over the top of it but because it's got the tea tree in it I like to put it on like pimples if I get them so yeah that one I'm keeping um, so I have this Maybelline Master Conceal this one is in Fair which is, should be the lightest colour but Maybelline is known for getting it mixed up because this is my Fit Me concealer. This is actually my second Fit Me concealer and I've already busted into it because um, I know it works unlike other ones. Um, this is actually in 15 fair. This one's 10 fair. It's like, um, yeah. So that's what 15 looks like. And that's what the other one looks like. See how yellow that is? Yeah. Um, I know about that. But I'm keeping it for now. Um, and I just picked up this one the other day. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection in 10 Ivory. It's supposed to be a skin tone adapting concealer and highlighter. I haven't opened this one yet. I haven't tried it out so I don't know because I want to you know, probably use up the Fit Me before I do that. Maybe. Uh, I have this one from LA Colors. It's a stick concealer and I don't The colour looks alright, but there's like no coverage whatsoever. What is the point of a concealer that doesn't cover anything? Uh, I'm going to get rid of that one. I don't like stick concealers anyway, um, to be honest. TBH. Um, I have one of the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I really liked this when I first got it. This one's in Classic Ivory. Um, Doesn't the colour is darker than this one? And over time I have found that I don't like it as much. So I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. See, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do that, but apparently I am. Um this is the CoverGirl Clean Concealer. Invisible concealer apparently. This is in light pale. I put this on one day. So this is very neutral with a very grey undertone. I don't know if you can see that. It's also quite dark in comparison to the Fit Me. Um, and I put this on and then when I went to blend it out, it literally um, like bulked up and picked itself up off my face. So I, I don't like it and I'm going to get rid of that one too. Um, doing a great job with concealers, aren't I? I have this BYS concealer pen. This is in light to medium. It's one of those annoying wind up ones which has gone, ugh, no, we, that one's just going to go out. I won't worry about that. That's kind of gross. Um, I think that is it for concealers. Oh no, this is a concealer. This is a NYX. As if concealer stick. This should be in. It's in CS01. It doesn't tell me what colour that is. Well, that's very light, isn't it? That's lighter than the Fit Me. Okay, we'll keep that one. Might work with that one. And then I have another one of them, but it's in a different colour. This is CS02, which is apparently fair. Which is just as light but more pink. This one's more yellow. Well, we'll try those both out. Okay. I obviously haven't really used them. Um, I have a NYX lip primer here. In uh, This is just like clear, I guess. Um, 
nude. So, um, it was just in my way. Um, the other one I have is this Physician's Formula. Can you see how yellow that is? <laughs> this is supposed to be the light one, I believe. Um, uh, I can't find a name on it. But this is the Concealer Twins. So, this is one end. And this is the other end. Do you think either of those work for me? Hmm. I think not. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll just get rid of that one as well. Yay, we're doing... I did great on my concealers. I just got rid of a whole bunch of them. Um, I am going to keep this one. This is the Natio Complexion Corrector. This is just green. It is literally just a green a green uh, lotion-y type thing. Um, particularly good if you've had like a bad day with your skin. You've got lots of zits and stuff. Um, so I'm going to keep that one. So then we are on to primers. Um, I'll just go through these quickly because there's not that many of them and I'm not getting rid of any of them. So we have the Nude by Nature uh, Natural Primer. I don't even see this is not even open. I got this in a bag with a whole bunch of other stuff. Actually, I lied about not getting rid of anything. I'm going to get rid of this one. This is the LOL face primer. It was like a buck. Um, it's very much a silicone, silicone type primer. Yeah, it's got dimethicone in it. Um, but, yeah. I wasn't hugely keen on it. Um, I'm going to, this one's the next one I'm going to work on using up after the one I'm about to tell you about. This is the Artist Selection Cosmetics, which is the brand that um, Crown sells in Australia. It came as part of my beauty thing. It's a clear dimethicone based um, primer. It's actually not bad. It's fine. This is the primer I'm using at the moment. Hopefully this is nearly done. This is from Anika. This is an all natural um, primer. It's super duper expensive, but I don't think it's that great. Uh, this is another one which I need to work on using up. This is really quite old, but it's still fine. This is the Fashionista Vanishing Cream, and it's like it's, you know, like the putty type ones that really fill in your pores. Um, it's really good to use on like really obvious pores. Um, but I need to use that up. Uh, I got this from Astralis. I haven't actually tried it yet. It's called See You Later Pores. It's a spot primer currently. Because um, I have quite big pores on my nose, I was thinking this might be good, um, but I haven't actually used it yet. I think this came in the same thing that the Nude by Nature thing you did, or I might have picked it up on sale. Um, I also have a baby skin which I picked up at some point, which I have yet to use the Instant Pore Eraser. Um, I haven't tried this one yet. don't know what that one's like. And I have... A Wonder Skin from AOA Studio, which is the brand that uh, is Shop Miss 8. Um, as you can see, it is a clear dimethicone based primer. Um, yeah, so... Doesn't it? Actually, it's not a dimethicone one. Well, that will be interesting. Because um, I haven't tried it yet. And then I have these two eye primers from um, LA Girl. I'm kind of sort of currently using them. They are the only eye primers I've got, I believe. Um, yeah, because uh, I'm trying to use them all up so I can just start using like colour tattoos. Up. One day I'm going to get a MAC Painterly paint pot, but not till I've used all the others. Um, yeah, so I have like white and nude. They're fine. They work fine. Yeah, so that was actually uh, pretty amazing. I got rid of a whole bunch of stuff.
so yeah um so that's it for this video if you want to subscribe click the button down below leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup makeup collection type videos etc click the bell if you want to get notified of when i upload videos and leave me a comment down below i try to respond to all comments and i'll see you in my next video see ya